What advice would you give to somebody who is thinking about doing a language degree? I would definitely tell them to consider coming here. Um, I'd always I'd tell them to <coughs> make sure, if they can, where possible, potentially look at doing two languages rather than one. Um, I'd also ask them to make sure that their university that they want to go to has, has decent language sources and decent language centres. And I would encourage them to take time out, um, either during their summer holidays, sort of waiting for exam results time, and do stints abroad like in, you know, in ski season in France or anything, just to, just to get that extra strength for their language. Um, also just to read as much as you can and watch as many films or programmes in the foreign language that you want to learn, because it will always improve your language. Would you say that there was a single piece of advice you could give to language students studying at UEA to help them find a job or enter the job market in the future? I think the best thing they can do is just study hard um, and just be self-confident. If you come across as confident in an interview, then you're far more likely to get the job. Um, so you just need to have a little bit of faith in yourself and put you have to put the work in there. Um, so About putting the work in, uh, just, is that something you feel you have to constantly work at to, to maintain the language skills that you, you picked up here? I think if I didn't use my languages in my jobs, it would be more difficult to maintain them. Um, you know, colloquialisms are always changing, so you need to keep up to date on that front. Um, and there's always the potential to learn more vocabulary because there's no way, even in your native language, you know every single word that exists. So it's always something that you can build on, and always something that you can better yourself. You spent your third year abroad. Where did you go? What did you do? And what did you gain from it? I split because I was doing the double honours course, I split my year abroad. Um, for the first semester I went to Alicante in Spain. Um, I studied at the university there. Um, I did some more translation modules just to keep that going uh, and also did a French module as well, um, which actually turned out to be a master's course, which I didn't realise until the day of the exam. Um, so yeah, that's what I did there. Um, I also did a part-time job where I taught private tutored um, children English, um, only small children, sort of under the age of 13. but. I did that and then I went on to the University of Geneva um, where again I just stuck with, went to the university um, and did some more translation modules there and also some history history modules and some cultural modules as well just so I could sort of branch out and not sort of get too focused on one, one type of subject.